It's a really cute three-bedroom cottage, and they're giving us a fantastic deal for the month of August. Yeah, of course it's a good deal. It's haunted with cheating boyfriends and sexual rejection. We can always burn sage. Hey, sharing a house with your girlfriends is fine in your 20s, but I feel like in your 30s, isn't it a tiny bit pathetic, like being the oldest kid at summer camp? She has a point. My 25-year-old assistant, Nina Grabowski, has a summer share in Bridgehampton with 18 other girls. They have to sleep in shifts. What do they do when they meet someone? Oh, they fuck in shifts, too. Hold it, hold it. I can't believe you guys would pass up a chance to get out of this sweltering heat. And besides, the city's completely dead during August. That's because everyone's in the Hamptons. We're stuck in traffic trying to get there. But this could be the last summer that we can actually all get together and do something like this. I mean, next year, who knows? One of us could be married or have kids. And then we'll always regret that last summer that we didn't spend together in the Hamptons. Charlotte's sweet hopefulness touched something in all of us. Okay, I'm in. Me too. Fine. But I get the late shift. They said this place was shabby chic. I'm thinking it's much more shitty chic. These towels are mildewed. Actually, this whole house smells like mildew. It's not mildew, it's beachy. Would you all stop being so cynical? We're lucky to be here. Uh, cynicism. Now, there's one advantage we have over girls in their 20s. I was cynical in high school. Who's that? Hmm. It's Greg, that cute guy I met on the Jitney. I told him to drop by, and if he asks, he thinks I'm 27. Evidently, while we had taken the Midtown Tunnel, Charlotte had taken the Time Tunnel. Hi. Hey. Come on in. You guys remember Greg? Hi, Hi Greg. Hey. Uh, so listen, uh, me and my housemates are having a big bonfire tonight out at the beach, and I just wanted to tell you that you're all invited. Excellent. <laughs> foam you could ski on the head. Sorry, it's been a while since I pumped a keg. I love young men, but come on, I mean, the guys here, they don't even have chest hair yet. Well, that's good news for their backs. <laughs> oh! Sorry. <laughs> okay, this is really fun. How long do we have to stay? <laughs> oh, come on. All right, I'm gonna go tell Charlotte we're leaving. The next day, Miranda woke up early to enjoy the cool morning breeze and a much-needed moment of solitude. All right, somebody puked on the deck. Oh, sorry. Stacy and Holly did too many jello shots. What are you, 25 now? Good morning. No, 27. Whatever. Saturday turned out to be hot and sunny. While we sat under our umbrella, 20-something girls sizzled on the sand like rotisserie chickens. Excuse me, when did tanning come back in style? Hand me the 45. 45? Didn't know it went up that high. You could sit in the microwave and not burn. It's Charlotte's, but I don't think she's going to be using it. It's not good for her 27-year-old image. She actually put on oil. Just let her have her fun now. Come Labor Day, she's gonna look like a 27-year-old handbag. Mm, I'd risk a few precancerous freckles for a summer romance. Oh my god! Oh my god. Ah, the water feels so awesome. You guys should really go in. You better put on some sunscreen, Georgette Hamilton. Oh, that's okay. I never burn. Well, I do. In fact, I think I've had enough for today. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. You guys want anything? Oh, we should get some rum. We can make Long Island iced teas. Oh, yes. I love Long Island iced teas. Excellent! <laughs> I have a, a tiny tick on my stomach and I can't get it off. Ooh, does that hurt? No, but it itches. Oh, my God. That is not a tick. Well, what is it? Well, there go our shitty sheets. Oh, my God. It's so disgusting. Where's she going? To the drugstore. Charlotte really is in her 20s. She's got crabs. Oh. 